Every day promises May 7th a new turn. I will deliver you in order to turn the Gentiles from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Acts of the Apostles chapter 26 verse 18. By about the third month a child takes a new turn. It turns around and the parents feel very happy. They tell everyone happily, my child started turning. They start phoning to everybody and saying he started smiling. They send WhatsApp saying she started crawling. Jesus said, unless you turn around and become like little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18 verse 3. From this it is evident that a new turn is the requisite for the eternal life. The old person in me should be put to death and the new person should rise instead. After repentance and baptism we got to take a new turn by saying goodbye to all sins, temptations and devil. That means we should walk according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. Romans 8 verse 4. Unless we turn from our old ways we cannot grow in holiness Jesus said whoever decides to come after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me Mark 8 verse 34 That's exactly what Paul was stating of crucifying the flesh with all its passions This is a deliberate decision you and I got to make daily for our betterment And this is not at all burdensome when we are truly in love with our savior. Have you taken a new turn in your life? If so, are you also turning the Gentiles to God? Even as Jesus said to Paul, the Lord has delivered us also for that purpose. Let's ask him. Father God, you expect me to show this first step of growth in my spiritual life. Give me your grace to overcome all temptations. which the devil is bringing to stop my spiritual growth i thank you and praise you through your son jesus amen verse for the day o lord my god in you i put my trust save me from those who persecute me and deliver me psalm 7 verse 1 have a blessed day